Lawmakers and the LGBTQ community are calling for anti-trans violence to stop. It comes after a 38-year-old transgender woman was shot and killed in Minneapolis near Lake Street last week. You might remember in February, another transgender woman was brutally beaten in this same area. Brittany Ehrman is in the newsroom with a message from the Queer Legislative Caucus. The caucus is calling this a hate crime. Family members of Williams, friends, and lawmakers gathered in a room to call for a stop to anti-trans violence. Loved ones say Williams was full of life and should still be alive today. We are so sad that she is gone and heartbroken. Family members of Savannah Ryan Williams only have memories to hold on to. Savannah was outgoing, very outspoken. On November 29th, Minneapolis police responded to an early morning shots fired call near 4th Avenue South and Lake Street. Court documents say 25-year-old Demarion Kalon Bible admitted to shooting Williams in the head. Investigators say he told police she approached him for a sexual encounter and he began to feel, quote, suspicious. Then, after the act, he shot and killed her. Regardless of what we do, to support ourselves in this world that is actively not built for us, that doesn't mean that we should get murdered for it. Lawmakers, allies, and the LGBTQ plus community are calling the shooting a hate crime. Based on FBI data, anti-trans violence is on the rise across Minnesota and the country. We will never stop fighting. Every single one of our siblings is loved by the people you see up here. Savannah is a beloved member of our community and she should still be alive. Family members are hoping Williams's death brings attention to an ongoing threat plaguing the trans community. The love, the laugh, the memories she gave will live, live on forever in our heart. And this case is still under investigation. Hennepin County Attorney Mary Moriarty said in a statement, if the investigation reveals enough evidence to prove this was a hate crime, they will prosecute accordingly. Live in the newsroom tonight, Brittany Ehrman, 5 Eyewitness News.